Before we start talking about the various types of articulation in the English language, let's just have a little refresher. Let's just remind ourselves of certain parts of the head. Okay, so here we have the nose and the space above the nose, the nasal cavity. This goes down here and here we have the esophagus which is where the food goes down and here on this side we go down through the trachea which is where the air enters the lungs this space here through the lips here we have the lips okay here have the chin and the neck the lips and the teeth lower teeth upper teeth and here we have the mouth cavity, the buccal cavity as it's called. Okay, the air will enter here. Here we have the hard palate. You can see the um, bony part here. And at the back we have the soft palate, the velum. And then we have this little thing hanging down called the uvula. And this big pink thing here is the tongue and then we have the tip of the tongue touching the teeth and the back of the tongue and at the back here a little protuberance called the epiglottis which closes to stop food going down the trachea into the lungs now here you might be able to see this little pink triangle these are the vocal cords at the moment the vocal cords are open and here I've illustrated the movement of the air in fact in this case the air is coming from the lungs up the trachea up the trachea and out through the nose, out through the mouth. And the little vocal cords are open. If you close your vocal cords, ha! Ah, like that, that's me closing my vocal cords, closing my glottis, closing off the air, ha! and no more air is coming out. But here they're open, so the air is moving freely and through, through the mouth and through the nose. So it's important on this diagram that when we start talking about articulation we will be asking several questions. First of all we'll be asking what are the vocal cords doing? Are they open or are they closed? We will be asking where is the velum? Is it closing off the entrance to the nose or not? Or is it closing it off partially? And we will be asking, what is the tongue up to? And I'll demonstrate this with more pictures as we go along.